My name's Amanda, and I'm from Casanova, New York, a small little town outside of Syracuse, New York. When I first came to SAGE, which uh, an organization for the elder LGBT, when I did a, as a panel member, first thing I told them is I was a heterosexual, transgendered lesbian. A heterosexual, because I was born as one, or I was, lived my life as one gender. I'm transgendered because I've transitioned and, you know, male or female. And I consider myself a lesbian because my spouse stayed with me, and I'm, so I'm married to a woman. About seven years ago, I was an emergency room technician. And I started transitioning, and one of my good friends who worked in the emergency room, she picked up on it. And she came over to me and she says, do you mind if I ask you a question? Are you cross-dresser or are you transitioning? Well, I says, Meg, yeah, I am. And she said, well, you're starting to show. So at that point, I knew I had to go to my supervisor and tell her, and I was going in for surgery. So I went in and I told her, and the hospital was very, very supportive. Unfortunately, they said to, for everybody to take and just act like nothing's changed. Well, you can imagine trying to act like nothing's changed and your whole appearance has changed. I went out a month earlier and when I came back to work, I left as, as Tony and I came back as Amanda. And hair's changed, body's changed, but don't notice. Act like nothing's happened. The highlight of the experience was when I came into work and I sat in the car for quite a while. I mean, I was shaking in my boots and I walked into work. and. The nurses all come running over and gave me a big hug, told me how good I looked. Uh, you know, they were fine with it. And they actually included me in all their conversations. And except for a couple of the guys who were a little more uncomfortable about it. Um, I walked that hospital like I owned it and nobody said boo to me. Uh, it's not the norm. Uh, usually anybody that transitions will tell you horror stories. Mine is a positive one. So in seven short years, I've kind of changed my life around, but I've managed to make it a positive experience, and I try to uh, present that to the younger people so that they know that there is hope. 